Back in the middle of January, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Secretary Becerra officially renewed the public health emergency declaration for an additional 90 days, which takes the national public health emergency into the middle of April of 2022. Health policy experts now expect that Secretary Becerra may renew that public health emergency again. They're fairly confident of that because we've already passed a key deadline, and that's the deadline by which the federal government was going to give states notice that the public health emergency may be ending. Remember, the federal government promised 60 days notice before the end of the national public health emergency. So that would have been February 16th, and on February 16th of 2022, there was no notice that the public health emergency was coming to an end. Therefore, it's not confirmed, but we can expect or anticipate that a renewal in April is coming. So notice to states would happen prior to any possible termination or expiration of the public health emergency, which was a courtesy to give states, providers, and patients time to plan and transition at that key time. A renewal of the public health emergency declaration means many changes continue into the future, both regulatory and financial and funding decisions that are made, as well as a continuation of some key public health protections, financial aid programs, Medicaid program changes, and more. Again, providing relief to patients, providers, and public officials. Now, remember, when the public health emergency eventually does come to an end, it's not a sharp cutoff date. States will have an opportunity to redetermine individuals who are enrolled in Medicaid before making any terminations, and they have plenty of time to do this. We will keep you posted as we come to the middle of April, as we learn more from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services or any other public officials on the status of the national public health emergency. You can come back here for an update. In the meantime, you can read more about the public health emergency renewal back in January in the description below.